Hey everybody, it's Eva with Super Safeway. We've been having some technical issues with going live for some reason, but I hope that you're all joining us. We're going to be talking Thanksgiving deals and turkey today. Um, like I said, I'm Eva. I am a Denver-based blogger and uh, recipe creator for the Safeway Denver division over on supersafeway.com. And uh, today I wanted to just talk about Thanksgiving deals and uh, turkey. I'm going to show you all how to make a delicious, juicy turkey. I'm going to show you my family recipe that has been handed down through the generations. Um, and so before I begin, let's talk about some of the awesome deals that you can get at Safeway right now. Um, if you have not bought your turkey, you can still score amazing deals. You can get these honeysuckle white frozen turkeys for just 49 cents a pound with a Just For You coupon. Uh, if you don't have a Just For You uh, Just For You account, you can sign up on Safeway.com or by loading the Safeway app on your phone, on your smartphone. And um, while you're at Safeway picking up your turkey for just 49 cents, you can also get Lucerne butter, a pound of butter for just 25 cents. And you can get this bag of Safeway uh, russet potatoes, five pound bag for just 25 cents. These are amazing deals. Um, if you're going to be doing any Thanksgiving baking, or uh, even if you want to just stock up on flour and sugar for Christmas, right now is a great time, or for the holidays, uh, you can get flour and sugar for 99 cents each, again, with your Just For You. Uh, just For You is Safeway's loyalty program. It rewards you when you shop by giving you uh, money back on free groceries, if you will. Not money back, but rewards you with free groceries as well as gas reward points. And so it's super easy. You definitely want to sign up if you haven't already. Now, uh, let's talk about how to prepare a juicy turkey for Thanksgiving. Um, I purchased the honeysuckle turkey uh, about a week ago. And well, actually, I got it free at Safeway, <laughs> let's be honest, because Safeway had that amazing free turkey promotion that has ended. But I did get this nice honeysuckle turkey when that was going on. Um, the first step you want to uh, take when you're making a turkey is you want to thaw the turkey. Don't expect that the turkey is going to take overnight to thaw. You actually have to prepare for it. It takes three to four days, uh, depending on the size of the turkey. So this is a 13 pound turkey, um, and it actually did take uh, all week. I put this in the refrigerator on Sunday, and this morning there was still just a little bit of um, ice in it, but I was able to uh, thaw it under some uh, warm water in the sink. Now, once you have your turkey thawed, again, prep three to four days for that, you want to remove uh, all of the stuff from the inside. There's a piece of plastic, take that out, okay? <laughs> don't leave that in, you don't want to cook bird with uh, plastic. There's uh, a bag of organs, you want to definitely take that out, and then you're also going to find the neck. So in the honeysuckle turkeys, the, uh, the neck is in the turkey cavity and the uh, innards you'll find, uh, I'm sorry, the organs you're going to find on the back side. So you're just going to remove this piece of skin or just lift it up and that's where you're going to find this bag. So I don't save any of this. Some people make a gravy out of it. I just throw it away. So I'm going to set that to the side. Um, the next thing that you want to do in preparing your turkey is you want to have all of your amazing aromatics pre-cut. So when you're making a juicy turkey, you want to season the turkey and you want to add flavor on the inside and on the outside. So in order to do that, what I like to use is carrots, celery, an onion, garlic, and lemon, as well as some fresh aromatic herbs. You can buy, uh, this is sage, thyme, and rosemary. You can buy this in a poultry blend package in the produce department at your local Safeway. And all of this, I chop up and uh, put into a little bowl and I have it ready to go because all of this is gonna go inside my turkey. So after I have that prepped, then the second thing I do is I'm going to make a softened herb butter. I have a stick or half stick of butter here. I'm going to put it into a little bowl. To that, I'm going to add some fresh, um, either fresh or freeze dried herbs. Um, one of the shortcut hacks that I use, I buy this Lighthouse poultry uh, seasoning blend. Again, you can get, get it in the uh, produce department. I just pour this right on top of my soft and butter. And then I just take my fingers and I'm just gonna mix all of this together. And again, you can totally take the time to remove the thyme and the rosemary from the stems, chop it all up 
and use fresh. That's your choice. I have always found this um, nice shortcut as a great hack. Once you have all of this butter prepared, what you want to do is you want to take a big glob of butter and you want to separate the skin from the breast meat. And then all you do is just use your fingers and you're just going to shove all of this delicious aromatic butter underneath the skin. And we're just going to get a little bit more. And what this does is this helps to keep all of that breast meat nice and moist and basted while the turkey cooks. So we're just going to keep putting that as far down as we can go. And then, next thing, you're going to just pat the top of the turkey dry because you're going to take whatever butter and fresh herbs you have left and you're just going to rub it along the top of the turkey. You want to cover the thighs, the legs, every inch of that turkey with this aromatic herb butter. This is just infusing all of this amazing flavor into the turkey. Then what you want to do, normally I would wash my hands here, <laughs> um, I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil and I'm going to brush it on to all of the remaining nooks and crannies of this turkey. This is going to help with two things. It's going to help give you a crispy skin. It's also adding moisture. So even though you've got a little bit of butter on there, liberally uh, coat this in a little bit of olive oil as well. And then you're going to season it um, in addition. So if you haven't stuffed the bird yet, we're going to do that in just a moment. So we're just going to add our olive oil here. Okay, perfect. So now the outside is done. Now what you want to do is you want to take all of these gorgeous vegetables that you chopped up earlier and you're going to just shove all of this inside your turkey. This is going to help keep your turkey moist. It's going to impart delicious flavor. So again, you have carrots, celery, onions. We also have a couple of cloves of garlic. I just put those in whole and you will have some vegetables left over but those, were, those are going to be used at the end of our turkey um, process here. We also want to stick in a couple of quarters of lemon and our fresh herbs. So I just take the whole bunch. Um, this is on sale at your local Safeway, so you can pick that up. I just take the whole bunch and I stick it all in there. This is helping to give the turkey amazing flavor, both from the inside and the outside. So now that we have our turkey uh, stuffed, we're going to add some additional seasoning to the outside of the bird. Again, I would normally wash my hands here, but in the essence of time, um, what I like to add to my turkey is some smoked paprika. I feel that paprika gives the turkey some amazing color and it imparts an amazing flavor. So just gonna on here. Okay, we've got paprika. Next, I have salt. Have to salt the bird. Um, I know some people salt the inside of the cavity. I don't do that. Um, I feel like that draws out the liquid and I don't want to do that. So um, I am adding salt. Perfect. You want to make sure that you get it all around on the thighs and on the leg bones as well. Then you're going to add some pepper. Okay, so here we've got salt, pepper, paprika. Now, I add a little bit of oregano. Might be a Greek in me, but I love to uh, season all of my poultry with oregano, and it just adds a really delicious flavor because you've got that citrus from the lemon and some yummy uh, oregano flavor here. So uh, we've added, so we have butter, we have olive oil, we have some of our poultry seasoning blend that's on the outside, as well as our other seasonings and aromatics that we've added. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take some kitchen twine and you're just going to tie the legs together. Okay, so really easy. Now, um, let me know below where you guys are watching from. If you're just joining us, we are making a Thanksgiving turkey. I'm showing you a technique that uses a oven bag. So, I know that a lot of times when you watch turkey videos, how to make a turkey, 
people don't ever talk about the kitchen or the oven bag, but I feel like the oven bag is the secret to a juicy turkey. So I'm sharing with you how to do that today. Now that I've turned the bird, I see that I don't have enough seasoning on this side, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more. We do want it perfectly seasoned. Okay, now what you do is you're gonna take an oven bag. So these are, oh, there goes my thermometer. Um, these are the secrets, in my opinion, to a juicy turkey. You've got your oven bag, you've got your prepared turkey. All you do is, first you have to add a little bit of flour to your oven bag. This helps uh, prevent the turkey from sticking to the bag. Take it up, and then you just get rid of any of that excess flour in the sink. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to take the rest of your aromatics that you have left over. So we had an onion, we had celery, we had garlic, and uh, a carrot. So we're going to set that down. Next, what we're going to do is we're actually going to put this 13 pound bird into the bag. So I'm going to put the bag in there and then add my turkey perfection. Then you tie it. They give you this little zip tie in the package and you're just going to seal this. And then I'm going to, I have a finished turkey in the oven and I'm going to pull it out. You're going to cook the turkey, uh, depending on the size, you're going to cook the turkey anywhere from two to four hours. So this guy, 13 pound bird, probably going to take about two hours and 45 minutes, uh, maybe two and a half, depending on, um, I guess, depending on the thickness, obviously, of the breast meat. And this is a really nice sized turkey. So it's probably going to take two, two hours and 45 minutes. The reason I like to use the turkey bag is because all of the juices from the turkey are going to stay in the bag. So basically this turkey is going to be swimming in its juices and there's no chance of it drying out. So let me go ahead and uh, put this in the oven and take out the other one that I have ready. First, let me wash my hands. morning and I'm going to go ahead and get it out of the oven and you guys can see I know it doesn't look as glamorous as it would if it wasn't in a bag but I'm telling you the bag is the secret to a perfect Thanksgiving turkey now what you want to do is you want to let the turkey rest um, actually I'm sorry before you do that you want to check the temperature of your turkey you check the temperature you can do it directly through the bag by sticking a thermometer through the thickest part of the breast meat. So you're gonna put that in there and you're gonna wait to see if it gets to 165 degrees. Yep, perfect. So now that is done. So my turkey is perfect. Now I'm gonna let this rest. Um, in order to like, take this out of the bag, I don't open it from the side because all of the juices are gonna spill out. What you do is you just cut the bag open on the top, okay, and then if you've got turkey baster here, let me set mine in the sink. If you've got your turkey baster, you take your turkey baster and you just baste it before you let it rest, and then you're going to let it rest for about half an hour. Um, to let the juices redistribute into the breast meat and all of the meat. And then, um, and then I love, the reason I love the bag, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's uh, all these juices here at the bottom of the bag, and all of that makes for the most amazing turkey gravy that you can imagine. So once the turkey is rested, I take it out of the bag, I put it onto a cutting board, and then I chop it all up. Then I just make a little hole in my bag and I pour out all of the delicious drippings into a saucepan to make my gravy. Um, we're not going to be talking about gravy today, but here is a delicious turkey, super juicy and moist that I've prepared in a bag. You can get all of the bag as well as all of your Thanksgiving ingredients on sale now at Safeway. I'm going to post a link to this recipe as well as all of our Thanksgiving recipes 
for your family uh, to follow, and I wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for watching.